guys, this is Marcia from Chasing Dreams One Mic. So today I made this classic Brazilian dish. It's a classic in a lot of places, but it's definitely a classic where I grew up in Brazil. It's just simple rice, beans, meat, and a salad. So this is gonna be a, a four part vlog because I wanna separate each part. Um, so today the vlog is going to be about the rice. So I made this rice with no instant pot, just old fashioned way. And I add a lot of nutrients, any vegetables that I think might be good. That's one goal that I have when I'm cooking. I'm always thinking, what can I improve that food? What can, how can I help my body? What can I add that I can say, I am happy I had this meal. So simple rice, white rice, there's not much to it, right? So I try to add things. So today in the rice that I made, I added garlic, onions, um, parsley, and carrots right and i try to add the veggies at the right time so that the nutrients don't die because if you overcook the veggies they are going to die so you're probably going to notice the i left the carrots and the parsley towards the end when the rice was already drying so it doesn't boil them too much so it feels like it, fe it felt like it was more steamed than cooked all together uh, so i hope you enjoy our home vlog this is a new section in our channel and this lady here with a beautiful garden here planted a lot of things looking forward to start collecting from here to add to my cooking so hope you enjoyed the vlog this is part one of this meal how to make the rice the ingredients that i'm using in this vlog is three cups of white rice olive oil three cloves of garlic four branches of italian parsley half of a sweet onion half of a teaspoon of salt five ounces of mashed thick carrots uh, this serves eight people with leftovers because I have a big family. Uh, but if you have a smaller family, you can do a serving of four. Just use half of the ingredients in this vlog. So you just take your garlic, just carefully um, peel them uh, by hand. Just be very careful with the knife. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm scared of big knives, so I just use my small knife. Uh, as you can see there, just keep cutting your little your garlic until it's all in tiny little squares. That's my knife. <laughs> it's not that sharp, but I love this knife. I just it's just perfect for me. Uh, everybody has a different preference, right? So once you have your garlic all cut in little squares, you'll move on to your onion, the sweet onion. So in this recipe, we're going to use half of a sweet onion. Those are usually pretty big onions, so half of it is definitely enough. If you're gonna do, obviously, half of the, the serving, you're gonna use a quarter of an onion. But uh, in my case, I'm doing an eight person serving. So I'm gonna use half of the onion. Again, there's no right or wrong in the food that I make. Um, I prefer to add more things, but if you prefer less onions because you don't like onions that much, you can add less, right? So the way I cut my onions are just going both different directions. So go one direction or the other one that makes uh, little cubicles, little squares of onions. You can make them as big or as small as you want. I'm not so picky because I love onions and once they're cooked, they're not noticeable in my opinion. So I'm not picky at how big or small they are. Um, so when you have your onions ready, you move on to your carrots. These carrots are already ready from Publix. These are the matchstick carrots. They're like little sticks instead of the shredded ones. Uh, these seem to be more noticeable once the rice is ready. You can definitely see the carrots because the shredded ones sometimes disappear. I also use the shredded. They're also very excellent to use in rice. Uh, so five ounces in this case. Uh, this is a 10 ounce bag. Um, so you just separate the other one, put it for the next time and just use five ounces this time. Then we move on to the parsley. I love Italian parsley. It's one of my favorites to use in foods. Um, a lot of health benefits, just like everything else here. Uh, so I'll usually use for this amount of rice, well, four branches. So four branches of, of parsley would be good. Uh, so separate that. And just to make sure it's clean, I mean, usually they already come pretty clean um, from the store. Um, just You just rinse them, right? Just rinse the, the leaves and the branches just to take any additional dirt off of it. Uh, and then you're good to go. Uh, after you rinse it, just, you know, just shake it a little so the extra water is gone. And then put it back in your on your counter and just start pulling the leaves off of the branches, right? And make a little pile of the leaves because we're not going to use the branches. We're just going to use the leaves. Just the leaves is what we need for this recipe. So once you have your little um, bunch ready of leaves, then you just start cutting. Just keep cutting. Just keep cutting <laughs> until you get your um, all as shredded as possible, right? Parsley that you can. And then you have all your ingredients ready for to start making the rice. Everything is there ready. 
The next step is to actually get the rice ready. So I'm using three cups, so I go ahead and that times three right there, put them in my strainer. I probably need a bigger strainer. <laughs> Um, and I just start rinsing it and this part is important because once you when you rinse your rice You're removing all the extra starch that comes with the rice a little uh, white powder that comes with the rice uh, Once you wash that off it helps the rice not to be so sticky because by nature the rice wants to be sticky, right? So if you rinse that off it actually helps you in at the for the end result So just just wash it just make sure the extra water is out uh, just shake it a little then the next step is what I do is to get your water ready because you're gonna have to add water when you make your rice and as the ratio for the water is going to be one to one uh, so I already get the first one ready because I, so I don't have to run around and get it while you know I'm putting everything in the cooking pan so in the cooking pan medium um, uh, actually high temperature you just add your olive oil there and you the first thing you add is the onions so you just add your onions there and you wait until it starts cooking. You mix it a little. This is already in high temperature, so it's not gonna take too long until it starts cooking. Once it's already cooking, then you're ready to add your garlic. Once you add your garlic, again, just wait until it cooks a little bit and then you start just mixing it up just so that everything is even out and everything is mixed in the cooking pan. I, I prefer to use a wood spoon, right, in, the, in this kind of cooking, but you can use whatever spoon you like. Um, so you just mix it up. Then comes the step where you can add your salt right now. So I'm using, for this amount, uh, half of a teaspoon of salt. It looks like it's more in that flat uh, wood, but just that's because the way the shape of the spoon. But it's a half of a uh, teaspoon of salt. Uh, I try not to add too much salt to my recipes to keep it uh, low sodium, right? It's better for your health. Um, then you can add your washed rice, and I just mix it up a little there. The white rice with the rest of the ingredients. That's it, just a little bit. And then you're ready to add your water. In this case, I'm making three cups of rice, so the ratio one to one. You go ahead and add six cups of water. After you add your water, you just mix it around. Just make sure everything is mixed so that all the ingredients are mixed. Uh, shortly after, you're going to notice it's going to start boiling. And that's when you turn your temperature to medium because it was high before. So now you turn it to medium. It's going to boil for a little bit there. It was very fast, this process. So when you notice that the rice is getting dry already, uh, right there, you add your carrots and your parsley. That's the right time to add it because from this point to the end, it's not going to be that long and you know you're not gonna overcook your veggies. You don't wanna overcook your veggies because if it's overcooked, all the nutrients are gone. And the purpose of adding these veggies is so that you can make a nutritious rice rather than just a plain white rice, right? Uh, so once everything is mixed even out throughout, you're just gonna turn it to low temperature at this point and cover it up. And it's gonna start cooking in there. It's very quick again when you uncover it and you notice that it's starting to get dry you mix it a little bit around cover it again now it looks like it's almost ready right could be ready so what you do to test that it's ready is make sure there's no water under so you're gonna grab a spoon and just make sure you go on the side and check there's no additional water it's still gonna be moist and it's fine but as long as there's not like a little pool of water at the bottom you can turn it off turn off your temperature and it's ready just keep it in a cooking pan for another five to 10 minutes so it finishes the process of cooking. Uh, and then you have, you have your perfect rice with perfectly cooked veggies, uh, carrots and parsley and onions and garlic and it's so delicious and so nutritious. Uh, there's the complete meal, the rice and the beans, the salad and the meat. This is perfect meal, uh, healthy. And because it's healthy, you can actually eat a little more. <laughs> That's what I do. So now I'm gonna enjoy my meal. There you go. It looks good and it's delicious and you don't have to feel guilty about it. So I'm going to enjoy it. Mmm, so good. Delicious. Thumbs up, I would say. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to continue to enjoy my food. Uh, don't forget to like this video, you guys. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have added this new home uh, vlogs. Uh, section that we're gonna be adding a lot of foods not just food but anything that's home related so I'm excited about that and have a good day bye